unfortunately we were supposed to do like this crazy street food tour yesterday and the day before and it just it's actually a lot more difficult to get street food in to me and i still struggling with trying street food <laughs> so we're gonna change the title it's gonna be food <laughs> just food <laughs> and if we can find it this video will be about food <laughs> the main thing is is we're trying to try all these unique dishes from chile so basically i think the whole concept of this video would be showing you guys what we eat in a day kind of like day in the life of all food. the dishes i try and find across the city hola oh she's gone uh, is it uh, antigusho? I've been trying to find this at like four different restaurants. And on the way, we looked at this lady cooking a barbecue, and it just so happened to be Andy Kucho. Is it a cane? Si, chancho. Oh, there's cane and chicken too. Chicken and pig. That's it. A mix? A mix? Gracias. Mix? Uh, sure. Chicken and uh, beef. Gracias. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this one, como? Eso picante, es rocoto. 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 So this one is rocoto. Ahí peruano. Ah. Ahí peruano. Okay. <laughs> so, the thing is I see Loco put this one on the chicken, so I would do the same thing. But Loco told me that it's picante and you know, that's the word I know in Spanish. It means spicy because I love spicy food. It's so, let's see if it's picante or not. No. Not spicy. Not spicy, not picante, no. <laughs> no. But the chicken is so good. Wow. I'm gonna ask her how she marinated. Damn. Seasoned great. The chicken's not dry. I haven't gotten to the meat yet or the beef yet. But to cook chicken to begin with that's not dry is really a good job to begin with. And this is really tasty. And this is just straight street food that there's no name. Nothing, but we know that we kind of uh, feel that every day. Here. Every day. Yeah. Every day she's here. Santa Lucia Metro. Station. Metro. In front of the the opposite of that, I don't know what that is. Biblioteca. Huh? Biblioteca. Uh, bi biblioteca is basically the library. Library. Possible library. We've read reviews that actually in Chile in the north, these are sometimes llama and not beef or alpaca and not beef so just be careful i think it's only the north though that's like that oh the fat part is so good it's really good oh all right guys so we are still near santa lucia subway station and i see like the gayo the genos a lot and it's cheap too, five for one thousand. So I think I'm gonna try that one more. Time to add some carb because I already got a lot of protein. Can I have this? Oh, it's already in the package. Yeah. The gayo. The gayo. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Try it here. Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Where's that sauce? There's no sauce. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fried croissant, yeah. It looks exactly like spring roll. Uh, it does look like spring roll. Roll. It's just like a, a soft, freshly fried cheese stick. What? Yeah. Oh, they got cheese inside? It's a queso stick. Oh my, got cheese inside too. Oh, let me try. They got cheese. Oh, it's good. It's a really Delicious. good. Delicious. Delicious. Oh my. 
They're so cheap too. I know. When we were in Colombia, guys, when we were in Bogota specifically, to me try one street food in Bogota, and that is the queso as well. The, some of you guys comment on the video and say that it's the Venezuela snacks. But the queso there in Bogota, in Colombia, and the queso here in Chile is so, di so different. The one here is more like thick, more doughy. Oh. With cheese stuff inside, so good. This isn't like overly like saturated and greasy. Which the queso you like better in Bogota, Colombia, or here? Here. Not to say because you are in Chile right now. <laughs> These are really good. I can't even talk. I just keep eating. Highly recommend, guy. Highly recommend. Gracias. Una chicha? chicha? Uh, this one. Una. Así? Yeah. No, no picture. No, no picture. picture. It's okay. They're all so worried. They're all like hiding their face. Don't worry. If you don't want to be on camera, you won't have to. Chicha? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. What is the difference? Maybe chico? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chico. Chico, uh, 1,000. Aluka. A mil. Yeah, yeah, gotta say. This one looks like a, a dessert. Is it shisha? Mm -hmm. oh. it, it's got such a thick texture. <laughs> First time trying chicha. Not chicha, but. That must be the condensed milk or vanilla, I assume. What's that? Cinnamon? Coco. Oh, coco? Coca. Coca. Como? Eh, esto? Esto? Como? Canela. Canela. And esto? Leche condensada. Leche? Mm -hmm. uh, it's milk. Sure. Oh, you want rainbow too? Yeah. God damn it, I'm you're going full sugar kid mode. <laughs> okay, this is this is one thousand pay. <laughs> All right, to me. All right, I don't know. I saw the sprinkles and the rainbow sprinkles kind of hooked me. I'm not gonna lie, that was the main reason I got it, because I saw the rainbow <laughs> sprinkles. I mean, if and you I have a major sweet tooth here in Chile, because everybody eats ice cream all day long. <laughs> so, I saw this, Dude, it's so and thick. I went for it. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like snot. Like, it looks really, Look really like gooey. eggnog to yeah, me. Yeah, like eggnog, like thicker version of eggnog. Dude, why are you have confusing face? Not good? It's okay. It's not bad. Tastes like what? Sour, I sweet? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I can't even tell you what that tastes like. It's not bad. It's really good, but it's just like... Tastes like... Tastes like vanilla. Yeah, kind of like a vanilla. And I feel like I'm eating ice cream, not the drink. Love it. Well, 8 out of 10 because it's too sweet. Delicious. What? Yeah, delicious, oh, sweet. They, no? You just said Ah, because. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No, I just found what I ate. I had a drink called. Mote con busilo. The one with the peach. with the peach. And that thing is like you only get it seasonal, which is you get it only in summer. And now come to La Vega Market and I see that they sell mote everywhere. Uh, hola. <laughs> we see people like this everywhere. They are not camera shy, that's for sure. Alright, um, walking around already and then I think we're gonna head to Central Market in order to get food there Do you want to go now? Whoa. Sure. Isn't it this one? No, it's this one But they blocked the bridge How can we cross? Down there, up there Oh, down here Man! 
Uva rosada, uva rosada. ¿700? Uno. Un kilo y medio mil, uno y medio mil. Uno. Ya. Uva sin pepa, barata, súper rica la uva sin pepa. Gracias, gracias. Gracias. Con mi amiga, ven. Ay, una, una más. Una más. Ya, ven. Ya. Aquí en Chile tenemos la mejor fruta. Uh, one of the other dishes I really wanted to try was an empanada. So this is different from the traditional empanada that I had in Colombia and Peru. So we are in front of Emporio Lunino. I think today we want to try Pino empanada because they say that this is so specific to Chile. <laughs> So it's 1200 for an empanada, pino. This is more like, like a bread, it's an actual bread. No, normally the empanadas that we see in most of South, South America are that like half moon shape that's pressed and fried. This is a baked empanada. Ooh. With egg, beef, and onions. Ooh. Would it have egg inside too? What, you didn't think so? Whoa. Wow, I have never seen empanada that have like a chunk of boy egg in it. This is more like a, a pot pie to me. It does look like a mini pot pie. What's up? Be careful, the olives still have pits. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I honestly like the Chilean version way better than the Peru and the Colombian version. I think it's healthier, it's more filling, it's larger. Get her with the pina, which is the pineapple juice. So good. In search of ceviche. Around the Seafood. They say that once you come to South America, you have to try ceviche, especially in Peru and in Chile. I tried ceviche once in Peru before, uh, but it's the muscle version. So now I would like to try Chilean version of ceviche to see how it is like. Pretty surprised that this is this look like milk actually. From what I've researched before, they say that the fish that they fermented in the lime for a long time, and then when they cook it, they don't completely cook it until it's like 100% cooked. Think about it as like a steak that they make it like medium rare. Jimmy not gonna try it because he doesn't eat fish, so. I gonna try this one. Let first let me try the soup. It's so sour. I'm so glad I ordered rice because the sudden the rice can calm my stomach down. I think maybe that's why every restaurant is served this one too. They serve bread. Maybe people have this one to calm their stomach down. So if you like sour dish, you're gonna love this one. There's no other flavors. No. That's why they say people eat this one with beer. It is five, okay, six. Look at it, so bright outside. What I just come to find out today is that there are so many kinds of ceviche that you can have. You can have salmon ceviche, but I have the some kind of fish, fish ceviche. Like you're in like little Italy. This market is amazing. Like it literally looks like little little Italy in here. I'm really shocked that a central market looks like this. A lot of the restaurants we walked to almost a local lady actually walked me around because I don't eat seafood or fish most of the time. So she walked me around restaurant to restaurant to restaurant and now nobody had any of the local dishes other than seafood. Besides this one place, it's called Donde Agosto Mister. 
and it has pastel de churro, choco, and it's only available four months out of the year here in Chile. What caught my attention on this is it's actually sweet corn. It's got a crispy layer on top with the sweet, mushy onions, chicken, boiled eggs, and raisins. To be 100% honest, I don't taste any raisins or boiled eggs. It's actually so, so good. It's amazing. So this is my first time trying this seafood dish. It's called Paila Marina. And based on what I researched, they say that this is like a really famous traditional seafood dish. And fun fact, Chile is really well known for their seafood. So that's why I had to try it. Fish, mussel, at least that's what I see. Oh, and squid as well. She gave me a huge bowl of lime and lemon. And look at the size of the lime. It's huge. She gave me like four of them. And I just squeeze it in. I put a little bit of salt in. Tastes so good. A little bit like savory of seafood. Imagine if you like put mussel and boil it for so long and the soup exactly tastes like that. So, we have to try uh, completos. They call it completos. And this is a typical street food of Santiago. There are a lot of mayonnaise. Wow! 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 Sorry, I drop it. Swab. This uh, this gentleman over here, one of the locals just told me to put this on it and it's pica, it's hot sauce the hot sauce isn't that hot well they try not to be uh, late with the cameras yeah because so many people still yeah gracias. gracias I wouldn't eat a normal hot dog but I like this it's good right the sauce is amazing 